Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel and we're going to continue with our 1968 Year of the Pitcher Challenge which features Denny McLean and Bob Gibson and tonight's game will be Denny McLean taking on the 2017 Los Angeles Dodgers and Clayton Kershaw. Denny McLean in 1968 was 31-6 with an ERA of 1.96, striking out 280. Bob Gibson was 22-9 with an earned run average of 1.12, striking out 268. They take on the 12 best teams uh, in the major leagues in 2017, home and away for 20 starts. So let's see how the year the pitcher does against 2017. The 12 teams that they will face, Arizona Diamondbacks, Boston Red Sox, Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Indians, Colorado Rockies, Houston Astros, Los Angeles Angels, Los Angeles Dodgers, Milwaukee Brewers, Minnesota Twins, New York Yankees, and Washington Nationals. Let's get to the starting lineups and the first pitch. Hope all is well on this Monday evening. For the Los, um, on the mound for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw in 2017, 18 and four with a 2.31 earned run earned run average, striking out 202. He gave up 23 gopher balls. He'll be facing. For the 68 Detroit Tigers, batting first, playing second base, Dick McAuliffe, 249, 16 home runs, 56 ribbies. Batting second in center field, Mickey Stanley, 259, 11 home runs, 60 RBI. Batting third, the left fielder, Willie Horton. 285, 36 home runs, 85 ribbies. Batting fourth, right fielder Al Kaline. 287, 10 round trippers, 52 runners knocked in. Batting fifth, doing the catching, Bill Freehand. 263, 25 home runs, 84 RBI. Batting sixth, doing the catching, I'm sorry, at first base, Norm Cash, 263, 25 home runs, 63 runners knocked in. Batting 7th, the designated hitter, Jim Northrup, 264, 21 homers, 90 runners knocked in. Batting 8th, the shortstop, Ray Euler, 135, 1 home run, 12 ribbies. And batting ninth, playing third base, Don Wirt, 212 home runs, 37 RBIs. Grandall's behind the plate for the Dodgers. Bill Billinger is at first, Utley's at second, Seeger's at short, Turner is at third. Tolles is in left with a minus one arm. Taylor's in center with a minus one arm. And Puig is in right with a minus five arm. So here comes the first pitch from Clayton Kershaw to Dick McCullough. And here it is. Ball game on its way. And that is a 4-6. Four, 4-6 six, four, six to McCullough. 4 Six off the Kershaw card. Swing and a miss, strike three. Clayton starts it off in style, one down. Here comes Mickey Stanley. Stanley batting 269 in the project. No home runs, no RBIs. Right handed batter. Corners move in against the bunt. Here's the wind up and the pitch to Stanley, and that is a 3 7 off the Stanley card. 3-7. Ground ball to Seeger. Over to Bellinger. Two up, two down. Willie Horton strides to the plate. Horton 
batting 192 with two home runs and four ribbies. Looking for the 3-2 column. Clayton Kershaw looking for the 1-2-3 inning. Grandal sets the target. Here is the pitch to Horton. And Kershaw deals a 1-6, 1-6 off the Horton card, 1-6. And that will be strike three looking, side retired, 1-2-3 go the Tigers. On the mound for Detroit, Denny McLean. And as we know, in 1968, 31-6, 1.96 earned run average, striking out 280. He did give up 31 gopher balls. And McLean... is making his eighth start. In the prior seven, he is four and three with a 2.65 earned run average. He's thrown 58 innings, giving up 45 hits, walking seven, striking out 53, and giving up seven gopher balls. And it could be more. He's got lucky with some split rolls. The lineup he'll be facing for the Dodgers, leading off, playing center field, Chris Taylor, 288, 21 home runs, 72 runners knocked in. Batting second, the shortstop, Corey Seager, 295, 22 round trippers, 77 runners knocked in. Batting third, the bearded wonder, Justin Turner, 322, 21 gopher balls, 71 ribbies. Batting fourth, the first baseman, Cody Bellinger, 267, 39 home runs, 97 RBI. Batting fifth, doing the catching, Yasmani Grandal, 247, 22 home runs, 58 ribbies. Batting sixth, the left fielder, Andrew Tolles, 271, 5 home runs, 15 ribbies. Wow, the computer put Puig down at 8. <laughs> I should have adjusted that lineup. Well, well, you never know. Normally, I do go and adjust the lineup, but it's a little late today, so I only did the Tigers lineup. Chase Utley batting 7th, 263, 236, excuse me, 8 home runs, 34 RBIs. Yasiel Puig. Batted 263, 28 homers, 74 runners knocked in. He's playing right field, and he's batting eighth. And batting ninth, the designated hitter, Gonzo Adrian Gonzalez, 242, three home runs, 30 runners knocked in. Behind the plate for the Detroit Tigers is Freehand. At first is Cash, second McCullough, short Euler, third is Wirt. Willie Horton's in left with a minus two arm. Stanley's in center with a minus two arm. And Al Kaline in right with a minus three arm. And in the chat, Ken Castro has joined us. He says hello. Hope all is well. Same to you, Ken. I'm okay. Dealing with a sinus infection, but getting better. So, here comes Chris Taylor. He's looking for the 1-4 column off McLean. McLean picks up the sign from Freehand. He deals to Taylor. And that is a 6-5. 5 six, five to Taylor. And that's a fly ball out to K-Line. He's under it. He sque squeezes his glove. One away. And here comes Corey Seager. Seager looking for the 2-4 left-handed batter. McLean nods his head. Here's the pitch to Seager. And Seager has dealt a 5-10. 5-10 to Seager. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So two up, two down for the bearded wonder, Justin Turner. Turner was 0 for 3 off Bob Gibson. And the Cardinals, he did walk once, though. Right-handed batter. McLean's ready to work. The wind-up and the pitch to Turner. And that will be a 2-2. Two, two. How do you do? This is off the Turner card. 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball McCullough over to Cash. Side retired. 1-2-3 go the Dodgers. Top of the second. No score here in L.A. 
Do up for the Tigers, K-Line, freehand, and cash. Hello, Mr. Clinton Parks, how are you? Al K-Line, batting 417 in the project with one ribby. K-Line looking for the 2-1 column. The wind-up and the pitch from Clayton Kershaw to K-Line. And it is a 2-4, two 2-4. Four, two four. It's a K-Line column, 2-4. And that is incorrect because that should have been a 2-4. So edit, undo last play. Yes. Okay, that was a 2-4. And I clicked on the wrong thing. Let's do this again. 2-4. And K-Line strikes this ball hard and deep. And that is a 4. And that ball is driven to left center field. Taylor races back, looks up, and that ball is long gone. Al Kaline gives the Tigers a 1-0 lead on his solo blast off Clayton Kershaw. So 1-0 Tigers. Bill Freehand will come to the plate. Can they go back-to-back -back jacks? Freehand looking for the 2-3 column. Hello, Herb Pilgrim. Here's the pitch to freehand from Kershaw, and Kershaw deals freehand a 2-3, two, 2-3 three, two, three, to freehand, 2-3. What will it be? We shall see. And it will be a walk. Good job by freehand to get on base. So no outs, freehand at first, and here comes Norm Cash. Corners are in, Turner in at third, Billinger in at first. Cash is a C bunter, but he's not up there to sacrifice. 1-0 Tigers. Cash looking for the 3-5 column to cash in. Here's the pitch. And Cash gets a 6-7. 6-7. This is off the Kershaw card. 6-7. Seven. 7 will be lucky for somebody. Ground ball to Utley at second. Range play. And that is a 2 and that's going to not be good for the Dodgers, so that's a 2. Error check is a 6, so that's a base hit past the dive of Utley, and Freehand's going to go to third base. So runners on the corners with no outs, and the designated hitter Jim Northrup steps to plate. Northrup has struggled, only batting 148 with one ribby, no home runs. Chance to knock in RBI number 2. Looking for at least a fly ball here. Dodgers want to turn two. Northrop digs in that left-hander's batter's box. And here's the lefty Clayton Kershaw with the wind-up and the pitch. And Northrop gets a 3-6. Three, 3-6 six, three, six to Northrop. Off the Northrop card, 3-6. Ground ball to third. Turner's up with it. They get the middle runner, and scoring from third as he was going off on contact was a freehand, and it's now 2 nothing with one out, and Northrup is at first. He gets his second RBI in the fielder's choice. And here comes the very weak-hitting shortstop, Ray Euler. He's batting 100 in the project. He's looking for the 2-5 column. He is an A bunter. But we're going to let him swing away here. Here's the pitch to Euler. And that's a 4-10. 4-10 to Euler off the Kershaw card. 4-10. And Euler will send that ball out to center field. And Taylor. And that is a 17. So Taylor will get to the ball. Now will he make the play? That's the question. And that is a 12. And he will make the running catch. For out number two. As Euler got a decent hold of that ball. As Taylor races back towards the track. But it's just an out. So two outs. Northrop will be off on contact at first. And here comes the ext another weak hitter. Don Mert. Though he did have 12 home runs in 68. So when he did hit the ball. He had a little pop. We're looking for the 5-2 column. 
Grandal wiggles the fingers. Kershaw nods his head. The wind up being the pitch to work. And Kershaw deals work a 6 8. This is off the Kershaw card, 6 8. Northrop will be off on contact, except there's no contact. Swing and a miss, strike three. Side retired. We go to the bottom of the second. 2 nothing, Detroit. Due up for the Dodgers, Bellinger, Grandal, and Tolls. Bellinger was 0 for 3 off Gibby and the Cardinals. Will he have better luck against McLean and the Tigers? He's looking for the 2 4 column. McLean's ready to work. He deals to Bellinger. And McLean gives Billinger a 1 7, 1 7 off the Billinger card. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Denny McLean. 55 on the project now. One out, no one on for the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He was 0 for 4 off Gibby, and he struck out three times. Left handed batting catcher. Here's the pitch. And Grandal will have a 1 4. 1 4 to Grandal. It's a Grandal column. 1 4 for McLean. That'll be a ground ball to McCullough. Over to Cash. Two up, two down. Here comes a left fielder. Andrew Tolls looking for the 2 4 column. McLean's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Tolls. Who the bell, bells tolls? We shall see. 5 2 5 2 off the McLean card. 5 2. Ground ball to McCullough. Will he get to it? That's a 1. He will not get to it. So let's see if there be any error. And that's a 9. So a base hit for Tolls. That's a first hit for the Dodgers past the dive of McCullough into right field. Tying run comes to the plate and Chase Utley. 2 nothing Tigers, one on, two outs. Utley did have eight home runs in 2017. He did not play against Bob Gibson. Utley looking for the 3-4 column. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to Chase. And Denny McLean deals Chase Utley a 4 Seven four seven to Chase Utley, and it's an Utley column. Can he do damage now? And he hits the ball hard, and that's a sixteen. So a sixteen, and that will be a single for Chase Utley, as that's to right field, and Tolls off on contact with two outs goes first to third, and now it looks like. A big opportunity here for the Dodgers and Yasiel Puig, who's batting in the eighth spot. Puig was 0 for 4 off Gibby and the Cardinals, and he struck out twice. 2 nothing Tigers, bottom of the second. Tolles at third, Utley at first, Puig at the plate, and they're going to throw. Utley's going to steal with an 85% chance of making it, and we're going to throw down. We need an 18 or better to throw him out. And it's a one, so we do not throw him out. He steals the base quite easily. And I guess we have an error check now. And that's a 10. And there's no error on the throw. As McCullough corrals the low throw. So... Tying run now at second and Utley, the go-ahead run in the power-hitting right fielder, Yasiel Puig, at the plate. Puig looking for the 3-4 column. McLean takes a deep breath, looks in, nods his head. Here's the pitch to Yasiel Puig, and Puig will get a 3-12, 3-12. It's a Puig column, 3-12. And Puig hits this ball deep. And that is a six. So Yasiel Puig will drive this ball deep and far to left. Horton going back, going back at the wall. He leaps. He makes the catch.
Willie Horton makes the catch and once again saves the day for Denny McLean. Another gopher ball was saved by Willie Horton. My God, like I said, Denny McLean needs to buy a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack for how many home runs Willie Horton has brought back in this project. The Dodgers threaten but do not score. We go to the top of the third, 2-0 Detroit. Top of the order for the Tigers, McCullough, Stanley, and Horton. Let's go to the chat real quick. Ken Castro says, Al, Puig batted eighth in reality on occasion. Oh, I know that. I just used, I moved him up in the lineup. I was just, I didn't really look. Again, it's late, so I just did the Tigers a little bit. I just, they had Northrop on the bench, and they had a really weak hitter at DH. I know Northrop's not playing, hitting the ball well, but I put him in at DH. Okay. So. Anyway, all right, back to the ball game here. Top of the third, 2 nothing Detroit. Again, top of the order, McCullough, Stanley, and Horton to face Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw's ready to work. Here's the pitch to Dick McCullough, who's 0 for 1. And McCullough will be dealt a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven to McCullough. And it's a McCullough column. Not a good result, though. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Great result for Clayton Kershaw. One up, one down via the K. That's Kershaw's fourth strikeout. And here's Mickey Stanley, the center fielder. Again, corners move in. Why they think he's going to try to bunt for a hit, I don't know. I know he's a B bunter, but we're not bunting. And here's the pitch of Stanley. And Stanley has a 6-6. 6-6 six, six to Stanley off the Kershaw card. Chance for a hit here for Stanley. And that is a 7. And Stanley will hit a line shot up the middle for a one-out single. And that will bring up the man of the day so far, Willie Horton, who just robbed a three-run homer. From Puig, that would have gave the Dodgers a 3-2 lead and left. Horton is 0-1. for 1. He does have two home runs and four RBIs in the project, but his average has plummeted down to 185. He is in a slump. Here's the pitch to Horton. Stanley's at first, one away, and it is a 2-10 that Kershaw deals to Horton. 2-10. And this is a Horton column. And Horton works a walk. So one out, Stanley's at second, Willie Horton's at first, and here comes Al Kaline, who had a solo blast to start the scoring off in the top of the second off Kershaw. Can he do it again? Dodgers want to turn two. Kershaw looks in, nods his head. Here's the pitch to Kaline, and Kaline has dealt a 4-10. A 4-10. 4-10. To K line. And that is a fly ball out to center. And Taylor, will he get to the ball? 13. And it's lucky 13 for him. He will get to the ball. Now will he make the catch? Error check. And that is a 10. And this is an F2. So I think the runner uh, might advance on this. We shall see. So there's the fly ball to Taylor. And that's driven well. He's racing back towards the track near the wall. Makes the catch. Stanley has a chance to tag up on this. 1 through 14, he is safe. Runner speed 15. Minus one arm for the fielder. So it's 1 through 14. And we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We need a low roll. And we get a 3. So it will be safe going into 3rd. So two outs, runners on the corners, and here's Bill Freehand, the catcher. Freehand, 0 for 1. Actually, he walked, excuse me, he walked his first time up. Freehand looking for his sixth RBI. He's batting 192. Looking for the 2-3 column, the windup and the pitch from Kershaw to Freehand. And it is a 3-8, 3-8. It is a freehand column, 3-8. Can the Tigers add to their lead? Two outs, runners on the corners, 3-8. And that's a single to right. They will. And it's 3-0. And 
And we're going to hold the runner at second. So 3 nothing, 2 on, 2 outs. As Freehand goes the opposite way and picks up. I believe that is his 6th RBI. And Norm Cash steps to the plate. The first baseman is 1 for 1. Two home runs, five RBIs. Here's the pitch to Cash. Will he cash in? It is a 2-9 to Cash from Kershaw. On his card, not one of his columns, though. 2-9. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Side retired, but the Tigers put up another run. We go to the bottom of the third. 3 nothing Detroit. Due up for the Dodgers of 2017. Gonzalez, then the top of the order, Taylor and Seeger. Gonzalez looking for the 2 4 column. McLean rocks and fires to Gonzo, and Gonzo gets a 4 9. 4 9 for Gonzo, so it's a column of his choice. 4 9. Swing and a miss, strike three. The choice, not so good, though. One up, one down. And that is McLean's third strikeout of the game, 56th on the project. Top of the order, Chris Taylor, the center fielder, is 0 for 1. Freehand goes through the signs. Here's the pitch to Taylor. McLean deals Taylor. A 1-7, 1-7 to Taylor. It's a Taylor column. Will it be Taylor May? No, it will not. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Fourth strikeout for Denny McLean. Two up, two down via the K here in the bottom of the third. And it's up to Corey Seager to extend the inning. Seager is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Will McLean get him again? He rocks and deals to Seager. And that is a 4-6 to Seager. 4-6. A Seager column. And he strikes it pretty well. And it's a 1! And that's what he needed. Holy cow. And that ball is going to split Stanley and K-Line. It's going to hit the wall. Take a funny hop away from Stanley. And Seager... Goes cruising into second. He thought about going to third, but he held up. Down 3 nothing. You don't want to make that third out at third. And here comes the bearded wonder, Justin Turner. 0 for 1. Turner did have 21 home runs in 2017. And McLean has given up gopher balls. And he almost gave up a 3-1 homer to Puig. Here's the pitch to Turner. And Turner gets a 4-9. 4-9. It's a Turner column. Off the McLean card. 4-9. Strike three looking. Curveball in there. Runner straight at second. Great job by McLean. He strikes out the side. And that... We go to the top of the fourth. 3 nothing. Tigers. Due up for the 68 Tigers. Northrup, Euler, and Wirt to face Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw... He's gone three innings, four hits, three runs, two walks, five Ks. He's given up a home run to Al Kaline. Here's the pitch to Northrup. And Kershaw deals Northrup a 1-5, one 1-5 five, one five to Northrup. And chance for a double here. A slim chance, and he's not going to get it. That's a 12. As that ball goes out to left. Tolls coming in, and he makes the running catch for out number one. Ray Euler steps to the plate. He's an A bunter, 0 for 1. We're going to try a bunt hit here. Uh, bunt for hit, yes. Here's the pitch. Euler squares, tries to drag one down. He bunts it back to Kershaw, who fires the Billinger, and they just get him for the second out of the inning. So two outs, base is empty for Don Wirt. The number nine batter is 0 for 1. Wirt. Awaits the Kershaw offering. Here's the pitch. And Wirt receives a 6-5, 6-5 off the Kershaw card. 6-5. 
Ground ball to Seeger. Will he make the play? That is a 14. So he'll get to the ball. Now will he make an accurate throw? And that's an 8. Yes, he will. Side retired. Seeger to Bellinger. We go. Bottom of the fourth, three nothing Tigers due up for the Dodgers. They gotta get busy with the bats. They're down three nothing. Billinger, Grandal, and Tolls to face Denny McLean. Bellinger's 0 for one. McLean deals to Billinger, and that is a one four one four one four to Bellinger. Ground ball, to McCullough over to Cash. One up, one down. The catcher Yasmani Grandel steps to the plate. He's 0 for one. Here's the pitch to Grandel. McLean deals him a 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six to Grandel. Off the McLean card. And he strikes that ball pretty well. That's a 3. One out, no one out. That ball is driven to center field. Stanley racing back, racing back. And he makes the running catch. Two away. Nice play. By Stanley in center. Base is empty, and here comes Andrew Tolles. He is one for one. He singled to right past the dive of Denny McLean. Ken Castro in the chat says, Game over, 2017 Yankees 4, Latino All-Stars 2. Clinton Parks says, Game over, Boston 2 nothing in the 12th. Uh, what game is that, Clinton? Were you rolling a Boston game? National pastime 3? Back to the game. Tolls trying to keep the inning alive. Freehand sets the target. McLean winds and delivers. And Tolls will have a 1 8. 1 8 to Tolls. For whom the bells tolls. And he's jammed. That's a pop up to work at third. Side retired. We go to the top of the fifth. Denny McLean has a 3 0 lead. Do up for Detroit, top of the order. McCullough, Stanley, and Horton to face Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw's gone four innings, four hits, three runs, two walks, five Ks. Here's the pitch to the left-hand hitting Dick McCullough. And it is a 5-2 to McCullough. 5-2 to Dick McCullough. And that is a 17 on the split roll. And he lines out to a diving Chase Utley, who just robbed McCullough of a base hit. Nice play by Chase Utley at second. One down. Mickey Stanley steps to the plate. Again, corners move in to protect against the bunt. Turner in at third. Bellinger in at first. Stanley is one for two with a run scored. The windup and the pitch from Kershaw to Stanley. Stanley, two, five from Kershaw. Two, Five. Off the Stanley card. That'll be a ground ball to Utley. Over to Bellinger. Two up, two down. That play was an easier play than the line shot that he caught. And Willie Horton steps to the plate. Average down to 185 now. 0 for 1 with a walk. Horton digs in, ready to grip and rip. Grandal wiggles the fingers. Kershaw rocks and fires to Horton. And Horton gets a 4-12, 4-12 to Willie Horton. 4-12 off the Kershaw card. And he works his second walk, keeps the inning alive. For Al Kaline, who's one for two, he has a solo home run. Kaline looking for the 2-1 column. Horton will be off on contact. Here's the pitch to Kaline. And Kershaw deals him a 3-10, 3-10. 3-10 to Al Kaline. Line shot to Seeger at short. Side retired. Bottom of the fifth, 3-0 Tigers. The Dodgers will send up their bottom third, Utley, Puig, and Gonzalez to face Denny McLean. McLean's ready to work. Here's the windup and the pitch to Utley, who's one for one. And that is a 6-6. Six, six. Pick up some sticks. 6-6. Six, six. Ground ball to McCullough. One down. So Utley grounds out to his counterpart. And here's Yasiel Puig, 
who almost had a three-run homer. And at the time, that would have given the Dodgers a 3-2 to two lead. But Willie Horton leapt, uh, went racing back towards the left field wall, leapt up and brought the ball back for the out. Puig looking for some payback. Here's the pitch to Puig. And McLean deals him a 6-7, six, 6-7 seven, six, seven to Yasiel Puig. 6-7, and that's a fly ball to center. Stanley drifts back to his right a bit and makes the catch for the second out. Two outs, no one on for Gonzalez. Adrian Gonzalez is 0 for 1. The designated hitter is looking for the 2-4 column. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to Gonzo. McLean deals Gonzo a 2-9. 2 to Adrian Gonzalez. 2-9. And Gonzalez strikes this ball well. And that is a three. Will he get a two-out hit? As he drives that ball to center field, Stanley racing back. And that's going to grab some wall. Gonzalez will go into second with two outs. Keeps the inning alive for the top of the order. Chris Taylor. Taylor had 21 home runs in 2017 if he goes yard. The Dodgers were only trailed by one. He is 0 for 2 today, and he struck out once. McLean takes a deep breath. Arms go down to his chest. The windup and the pitch to Taylor. And it is a 1-4 to Taylor. 1-4. And it's a Taylor column. Will it be Taylor made? It will not. Strike three looking. Set him up with a fastball. Got him looking with the curve. They strand Gonzo at second. The Dodgers do. We go to the top of the sixth. 3-0 Tigers. Due up for Detroit to face Clayton Kershaw. Freehand cash in Northrop. Freehand's one for one with an RBI. Here's the pitch from Kershaw. And it is a 4-9. 4-9 to Freehand. 4-9. And that will be strike three looking. And that's the sixth strikeout for Kershaw. One out. No one on for the first baseman, Norm Cash, who is one for two, left-handed batter. He awaits the Kershaw offering. Here's the pitch. And Cash gets a one, I'm sorry, a 3-10, 3-10 for Cash, 3-10. And that's going to be a double to left. He goes the opposite way. And that's going to go to left center, actually. Tolls will not get there. So a one-out double for Norm Cash now bring up this slumping Jim Northrup. He did pick up his second RBI on a fielder's choice. Can pick up his third here. He's looking for the 1-5 column. Grandal wiggles the fingers, sets the target. Here's the pitch to Northrup. And Kershaw deals Northrup a 4-12. 4-12 off the Kershaw card. And that's going to be a hard hit ball. The Bellinger, he makes the diving stop, gets up and races to the bag, steps on it. For out number two, advancing to third is Cash. So he's 90 feet away from the Tigers adding another run. And their very weak hitting shortstop, Ray Euler, comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2. He's 0 for 2. He'll swing away. Can he punch it through the infield? Here's the pitch to Euler. Trying to pick a pick up a ribby here, and that is a 4-6, four, 4-6 six, four, six to Euler. Off the Kershaw card. And that will be. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Side retired. The Tigers strand a runner at third. Bottom of the six, three-nothing Detroit due up for the Dodgers. Seeger, Turner, and Bellinger. Those bats have to wake up. Seeger's one for two with a double. McLean gets the sign from Freehand. Here's the pitch to Seeger. Can he start things off right in this inning? And that is a 2-7, 2-7. This could be good for Seeger. It's a column of choice. And it's good. It's a single to right. Justin Turner steps to plate. He's 0 for 2. He struck out once. McLean has six strikeouts in this game. Tigers looking to turn two up the middle with Euler and McCullough. Here's the pitch to Turner. Runner at first, no outs. And Turner is dealt a 110. And this is a Turner column. 110. Possible single. 
Oh my lord, 1 through 19 is a single. Denny McLean leads a charmed life right now. It's a 20. Imagine that. It's a line shot to work. Who fires to first, but Seeger dives back safely. So one out, one on for the power hitting first baseman Cody Bellinger. He had 39 bombs in 2017. If he goes yard here, the Dodgers will pull to within one. Here's the pitch to Bellinger. And McLean deals Cody Bellinger a 6-7, six, 6-7 seven, six, seven. off the McLean card. 6-7. Six, and he's jammed, and that will be a pop-out to Cash on the outfield grass. So two up. Uh... Two outs, excuse me, runner at first. Seager will be off on contact, and here comes the catcher, the switch hitter batting lefty, Yas, uh, Yasmani Grandal. He's 0 for 2. McLean works quickly to Grandal, and it is a 2-9, 2-9 to Grandal. 2-9. Runner off on contact, but there is no contact. Swing and a miss, strike three at the knee, Chief. We go to the top of the seventh, three nothing Tigers. Work in the top of the order, McCullough and Stanley to face Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw's gone six innings, five hits, three runs, walked three, struck out seven. Work is 0 for two. He will try to drag a bunt for a hit. Here's the pitch to Work. And he bunts the ball. Grandiano fields it and throws to Utley, covering the bag on the wheel play, one down. Top of the order, Dick McCullough. He is 0 for 3. His struggles continue. He's now batting below 100. 0 .097. Here's the pitch from Kershaw to McCullough. And McCullough is dealt a 111. 111 to Dick McCullough. And McCullough has a shot at a hit here. And that's a 14. 14. Let's see if the Dodgers will make the play. And that's a line out to Utley. McCullough, even when he hits it hard, can't catch a break. Lines it right in the chase Utley's glove. So two outs, base is empty for Mickey Stanley. One for three with a run scored. Corner's not playing in now with two outs. Here's the pitch to Stanley from Kershaw. And Stanley has a 1-6. One, 1-6 six, one, six. One, six to Mickey Stanley. Ah, it's not right. I'm gonna that's it's a one six and I clicked too quick. That's not gonna count, so don't worry. It's a one six. Undo last play, yes. Okay, that's a one six. One six. And it's still a home run shot, just not automatic. Here we go. And that is a 7. So Mickey Stanley will go yard as he crushes that ball. Dead center field. Taylor Reese races back, looks up, and it is gone. And it is 4 nothing Tigers. As four runs, McLean has a commanding lead now. Two outs, Willie Horton steps to plate 0 for 1 with two walks. Here's the pitch to Horton. Kershaw being roughed up. And that is a 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight, five, eight to Horton. 5-8. Swing and a miss, strike three. But Kershaw gives up another gopher ball. We go to the bottom of the seventh, 4 nothing Tigers. The trivia is, what is Bucky Dent's normal first name? Formal, excuse me. What is Bucky Dent's formal first name? One more time. What is Bucky Dent's formal first name? Let's go to chat. Herb Pilgrim says, Dodgers are actually in the top five of my favorite teams, me being from Brooklyn and all, but I'm pulling for Denny in this one. Well, thank you for that info, Mr. Herb Pilgrim. And Herb says, Clinton and Ken, what's the name of your respective channels? Clinton Parks' channel is called Clinton Parks, and Ken does not have a channel. 
Well, he has a channel. There's just nothing on it, I don't think. All right. Here's the trivia question one more time. What is Bucky Dent's formal first name? And I'll sing, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for it. Root for your favorite team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. And that's our seventh inning stretch. Once again, what is Bucky Dent's formal first name? Don't know that trivia offhand, Al. Neither do I, so let's find out and get back to the ball game. Russell. It's Russell Bucky Bleeping Dent. Excellent. All right, due up for the Dodgers in the bottom of the seventh. They trail by four. Tolls, Utley, and Puig. Tolls is one for two. Here's the pitch from McLean to Tolls. And the white dice has jumped. And that is a 4-2 to Tolls. 4-2. 4-2. Ground ball to Cash. He flips to McLean, covering one away. Chase Utley's playing some fine defense at second base. One for two today. Here's the pitch to Utley from McLean. And Utley deal is dealt a 2-6 from Denny McLean. 2-6 to Chase Utley. And another ground ball to Cash, who flips to McLean, covering. Deja vu all over again, as Yogi Berra would say. Two up, two down for Yasiel Puig. Was robbed of a three-run home run in the bottom of the second by Willie Horton and left. He's 0 for 2. His next at-bat, he flew out to Stanley. Here's the pitch to Puig. And Puig is dealt a 3-2. Three, 3-2 two, three, two to Puig. It's a Puig column. 3-2. And he'll fly out to Mickey Stanley again. Uh, Stanley goes back a bit. Makes the catch. Side retired. We go to the top of the eighth. 4 nothing Detroit. Uh, Denny McLean has gone 7 innings. 6 hits. No runs. Walk 3. Struck out 8. I'm sorry. Kershaw. Excuse me. Kershaw. That is Kershaw's numbers. Seven innings, six hits, three runs, four runs, excuse me, walk three, striking out eight. He'll face K-Line, freehand, and cash. Here's the pitch to K-Line, one for three with a home run. And Kershaw deals cash a 3-10. A K-Line of 3-10. 3-10 to Al K-Line. And K-Line will line out to Seager at short. Hit it on the numbers, but right at the shortstop, Seeger. One down. Bill Freehand. The catcher steps to plate one for two with an RBI. He awaits the Kershaw offering, and here it is. And the offering is a 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven, six, seven to Freehand. One out top of the eighth. 4 nothing Tigers. 6-7 Freehand. Ground ball Dutley. Will he get to it? Yes, he will. He comes up with the ball smoothly. Now will he make the throw to Bellinger? And that's a five. So it's a rare play. Let's see what the rare play will be. Diving stop by Utley, and he throws from his knees for the out. So two outs base is empty for Norm Cash. He's cashed in twice. He's two for three with a double. The windup and the pitch from Kershaw to Cash, and it is a 6-8, six, 6-8 eight, six, eight to Cash. 6-8. Norm Cash from Kershaw, and that will be strike three looking. Kershaw gets another one. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 4 nothing Tigers. The Dodgers have to get their bats going against Denny McLean. McLean, seven innings, five hits, no runs, no walks, seven Ks. Gonzalez does have a hit off him. He has a double. He'll be followed by Taylor and Seager. Here's the pitch to Gonzo. And McLean offers Gonzo a 110, a 110 to Gonzo. And Gonzo 
Strike three looking. McLean's eighth strikeout. One out. Bottom of the eighth. Top of the order. Base is empty. Chris Taylor. Taylor is 0 for 3. So far, Taylor's been tailor-made for Denny McLean. He struck out twice. Can McLean get him on the hat trick? McLean rocks and fires to Taylor. And it is a 2-3 to Taylor. 2-3 to Chris Taylor. Taylor with a hit opportunity here, and that is a 10. This might be a hit. Can Taylor get on? Bouncing ball up the middle, past the dive of McCullough into center field. Taylor, 80% chance of stealing. They're, keep, they're holding him. He's not going. And here's the pitch to Corey Seeger. Seeger is two for three with a double, looking for the two-four column. And Denny McLean deals Seeger a 1-4. So this will be off the shortstop's card. Ground ball to Cash. Over to Euler. Back to Cash. Double play. Side retired. We go to the top of the ninth. 4 nothing Detroit. And Clayton Kershaw is back out on the mound to try to keep it a four-run deficit. He will face the bottom third of the Tiger lineup, Northrop, Euler, and Wirt. Northrop 0 for 3 with an RBI. He's now batting 133 with two ribbies. Here's the pitch to Northrop. And Kershaw deals Jim Northrop a 3-7. 3-7. Off the Northrop card, 3-7. And he'll fly out to center field as Taylor squeezes the glove. So one up, one down. Ray Euler, he's 0 for 3. There's the pitch from Kershaw to Euler, and that is a 2-8. 2-8, will he get his first hit? It's an Euler column. 2-8, very weak hitter. He walks, so at least he gets on base. And here comes Don Wirt. Wirt is 0 for 3. Billinger playing behind Euler at first. And there's the pitch that's going to get away. From Grand Dahl, it is a wild pitch. Curve ball went 58 feet. So one out. Oilers in scoring position for Don Wirt. Again, he's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch from Kershaw. And Wirt is dealt a 111. 111 to Don Wirt. Will he make it hurt? Don Wirt. No, he shan't. Ground ball to Bellinger. Races to the bag. Steps on it for out number 2. Going to third is Oiler. Top of the order. Dick McCullough, and he's batting below 100, .094. Can he get a ribby? Here's the pitch to McCullough from Kershaw, and it is a 3-7 off the McCullough card. 3-7, two outs, runner at third, and he does! He singles to right 5 nothing. So McCullough's got to feel good about himself, gets off the schneid and knocks in a run. 5 nothing. Denny McLean and the Tigers... McCullough's at first for Mickey Stanley, two for four with a home run. And that's it for Clayton Kershaw. They're going to bring in Brandon Morrow. He's done with his warm-up tosses. Here's the pitch to Stanley. And it is a 6-4 to Stanley. And it's a Stanley column. 6-4. Will he show Morrow the door? No, he shan't. Ground ball to Seager. He flips to Utley. Side retired. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Denny McLean, looking for the complete game 5 nothing shutout, will face Turner, Bellinger, and Grandal. Turner's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch for McLean to Turner. And it is a 1-9. One 1-9. Nine. One nine. It's a Turner column. Hard ground ball to work. He backhands it, fires across the diamond to cash one away. McLean's two outs away from picking up win number five in eight starts. Here's the pitch to Bellinger. The first baseman is 0 for 3. And Bellinger will have a 4-5. Four 4-5 five, four five to Bellinger. Column of choice off the McLean card, 4-5. And Bellinger hits this ball hard. And that ball is bumped by Birdie. There goes the shutout. Bellinger crushes that ball to right center field. K-Line just watches it go bye-bye. 
and it's now five to one. Five to one. And that is the eighth gopher ball that Denny McLean has given up. And as you've seen, he could have been a lot more. He's gotten lucky with the splits. So one out base is empty. Here's Yasmani Grandal, the catcher. He's 0 for 3. Switch hitting catcher, batting lefty off the right-handed Troy McLean. McLean deals to Grandal, and that is a 3-5 to Grandal. 3-5. And that will be... Swing and a miss, strike three. That is the ninth strikeout for Denny McLean. So two outs, five to one game. McLean looking to get the third and final out and his tenth strikeout. Can he do it? Can he do it? As her pilgrim in the chat says, think what I'll do for all of my Red Sox friends out there, on Al Red Sox fan, is to come up with a list of my favorite all-time Sox players, maybe one for each position, Maybe try to make a 25-man team soon. That would be cool, Herb Pilgrim, who's a Yankee fan. And what I think we should do, Herb, I like that. We should come up with our all-time favorite Yankees. I think that's pretty cool, Herb. So let's, let's try that. Ken Castro, Clinton Parks. Herb's going to come up with his favorite 25 Red Sox. And we'll, we'll come up with our favorite 25 Yankees. Is it of all time? It's probably of all time. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so Al Andrew Tolls will try to keep the Bills from tolling for him. Two outs, base is empty, 5-1 Tigers. The windup and the pitch by McLean to Tolls. Will he extend the game? 3-6. 3-6 off the Tolls card. 3-6. Or will it be the 10th strikeout? Ground ball. McCullough to the hole. Backhands it. Throws the cash. Ball game over. Denny McLean picks up the win. The Dodgers are defeated. Let's get the box score. Yeah, let's make that big so everyone can see it. Go to OBS. And fit to screen. There we go. Let's go to the chat first and say thank you to Herb Pilgrim, Ken Castro, and Clinton Parks. Remember to check out Clinton Parks' wonderful channel with National Pastime 3 as well as Bleacher Bums Gaming, Higher Ground Gaming, Tabletop Baseball Plus, Baseball Demos, Broke Black Man 94 for movie and TV reviews. What's Blazing in Sports for all your boxing needs. Stratomatic Delaware. Fill the Issues Guy, movie and TV reviews. Johnny Indy Boots, a uh, big Game of Thrones fan, as well as JD. And many more. ID Gesture. Lots of fun games on that channel. So check out my page for the related and featured channels. And check out their pages for the same. All great channels. Come join our wonderful community. And Herb Pilgrim says deal. So Herb's going to come up with his 25 favorite Red Sox by position. And myself and hopefully Ken Castro and Clinton Parks will come up with our 25 favorite Yankees by position. All time. So, well, Babe Ruth's definitely on my Yankee team. He's playing right field. Mickey, Ma oh, boy. I got DiMaggio and Mantle. Barra. I like Thurman Munson, too, though, but you got to go with Barra there, though. All right, it's going to be fun. We'll come up with some stuff. It should be fun. So that's a great idea, Herb. We'll, we'll discuss it on a chat with Al coming up. Probably going to have a chat with Al either Friday or Saturday. So let's go over the box score. Denny McLean gets the win, and that's what we're here for. He's now eight starts, five and three. Nine innings. It was a very good start for him. Seven hits, one run. It was earned the gopher ball to who hit the home run off of him. Bellinger in the bottom of the ninth. He could also gave up a three-run homer to Puig in the bottom of the second. He's been very lucky. 
Had he given up that home run, it would have been three to two Dodgers. But Willie Horton made an amazing catch, bringing the ball back from over the stands to save the day. So Denny McLean, nine innings, seven hits, one run. The home run to Cody Bellinger. It was earned. No walks, striking out nine. His ERA drops to two four three, two point four three. Clayton Kershaw goes almost the distance, eight and two thirds, seven hits, five runs, all of them earned. Walked four, struck out nine, gave up two home runs, and the home runs were Al Kaline and Mickey Stanley. Bob Morrow, is it more Bob Morrow? Anyway, Morrow got the last out in the top of the night. The Tigers only mustered seven hits, but picked up five runs on those seven hits. McCullough one for five with a ribby, now batting 121. Mickey Stanley, two for five, two runs scored in RBI, batting 290. Willie Horton, 0 for two, he walked twice, 179. Al Kaline, one for four, he had a home run, which was an RBI and a run score, now batting 393. Freehand, one for three, a run scored in RBI, 207. Cash, two for four, batting 267. Northrop struggles continue. He did pick up an RBI, though he was 0 for four, batting 129. Euler, 0 for 3 with a run scored, batting .077, and work 0 for 4. He has not had a hit yet in the project. Tigers, 34 at-bats, 5 runs, 7 hits, 5 rippies. For the Dodgers, who went 0-2 against Gibson and McLean, and Kershaw's 0-2, Taylor 1 for 4, Seeger 2 for 4, Turner 0 for 4, Bellinger 1 for 4, a home run and a run scored, uh, Grandal 0 for 4, Tolls 1 for 4, Utley 1 for 3, Pugue, uh, Puig excuse me, 0 for 3, he had a 3 run homer robbed by Horton in the bottom of the second, and Gonzo, Adrian Gonzalez 1 for 3. Dodgers in defeat, 33 at bats, 1 run, 7 hits, 1 ribby, the Cody Bellinger home run. So, on the project, Detroit is now 5-3 and three after eight games. Denny McLean is 5-3. and three. His ERA, 2.43. So, Red Sox fans saying thank you to Ken Castro, Herb Pilgrim, and Clinton Parks. Hope you enjoyed the game. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Don't swing at the curveball in the dirt. Watch out for the big left hook. And peace!